poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', y'all? It's your boy, Kaden the Rake Man. And, of course, I ain't got time for none of them intros. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all share the video and join the Patreon. I got some exclusive content coming for y'all. You don't want to miss that. The greatest magic trick ever played in the existence of humans is the great female con. A woman convincing you that she wants a nice guy. She wants a guy to listen to everything she says. Happy wife, happy life. She wants a dude who's going to bend over backwards and give her everything she wants and be extra compliant to her while happen, having a super high attraction and give her all the attention in the world and some flowers. That is the greatest trick ever played in existence. And it's crazy. You know, a logical man, you would think you Cause I thought like this, I know you think like this. You would think, why wouldn't she want that? Like, why wouldn't she want a nice dude? Why wouldn't she want a dude who treats her well? Why is it that every time I do this and every time I become this guy, I get the opposite response from a woman. So I got to find some other way to approach this situation. Otherwise, I'm just approaching with pure insanity because I'm doing the same thing over and over. I'm doing what they tell me. And I'm getting the same results. I know you thinking that. What does she gain from this? She doesn't. But genetically, she seeks out the strongest man. Genetically, she seeks out the dude who can lead her and put her in her place. And guess what that ain't? That's not the dude who doing everything she says, bro. It's a test. It's always been a giant test. It always will be. And that's what society don't tell you. They give you all of these love songs and movies that tell you bend over backwards for her and cater to her every need. No, bro. It's supposed to be the other way around. She's supposed to be doing that stuff for you. See, these women, what get on my nerves, right, is these women will nag you to death. These women will give you the runaround. They will give you the worst side of them and then turn around and give some dude who broke, ain't worth nothing. She'll give him my all, bro. She will. And it sucks, but it's true. I know some of you guys experienced that. And why is that happening? It's because he doesn't treat her as if she a priority. He don't put her on a pedestal. When she start giving him attitude, when she start acting like she ain't got no common sense, he'll walk away from her because he's not overly attached to her because he's not attached to an outcome because he's not attached to who he want her to be or how he want her to act because his attraction level too high. He's not attached to that. He focused on him. Even if he broke, he focused on what he got going on. That's why these poogies out in the street, bro, when they focused on the streets, they not focused on her. And guess what's happening? That's making her attraction level go up. That's making her want him. And at the end of the day, that's how you got to be, bro. When a woman doesn't give you what you need from her, when a woman isn't pouring into you, when she's not giving you that side of her that says, hey, look, you got my all and that's how it's going to be. Then guess what you do? You remove yourself from from the situation because at the end of the day the greatest magic trick ever played is a woman telling you what she wants you to do because guess what it's just counterintuitive to everything bro think about it it's counterintuitive hey i'm gonna do what a bunch of women said that they want me to do when I'm supposed to be the leader, I'm supposed to be the man in charge. I'm supposed to be the person that they follow. I'm supposed to be the guy, masculine energy. So I'm going to do what they say. You, have you ever went into a job and told your boss what y'all going to do today? No, it's supposed to be the other way around. You are supposed to be the person leading the interaction. And if she can't follow, guess what happens? At your job, if you can't do the job, if you can't follow instructions, what you do? You get fired fire her get rid of her or at the very least remove yourself create some distance now i ain't saying go break up with your girl for for you in the back bro like don't go break up with your girl but you know sometimes give her the space to miss you bro because they need that they need to see in their brain oh he's he created some distance i don't know where he at 
His presence actually means something. Let me stop being complacent. They need that, bro. They need that. What's crazy is when you give them that, they complain about it. And do you want to know why they complain about it? Because it's another test. Think about it. If you looked at all of these things in the most logical way, you could look at these things logically. Doesn't it make sense? Like, yo, you need sometimes away from people to miss people, but you don't ever want to be away from me, bro. Like, it's literally they're self-destructive. They're literally self-destructive. So they're always going to be doing what they could do to destroy the relationship. They're always going to be doing what they could do. That's why a lot of this shit, it don't even make sense. It's like, why you nagging me every day? Why we, why we into it every day? Why you making problems about things that I already fixed? Why you bringing up stuff that we long past and I already did what I needed to do to fix that? Why are you doing this? Because inherently, she is going to want to be destructive. Inherently, she is going to want to destroy the quality of the relationship because she is going to poke and prod and test until she cannot. And the best thing you could do as a man is choose not to engage. You better off choosing not to engage. You want to know why you better off choosing not to engage? Because there is no winning with emotion. Emotion does not make sense. It has no logic, bro. What is logic, bro? Think about what logic is. Exactly. You have to make sense of things. You have to be the logical stabilizing force. And logically, why talk to a brick wall? Why do it? Huh? Exactly. My point exactly, bro. So you have to, as a man, understand that, like, when you just say, forget it, when you give me that goofy attitude, I'm going to ignore you or whatever. Guess what happens? You get her attention. She start to gravitate towards you. She start to want you because they inherently want what they can't have. It's human nature, bro. It really just is. Anyway, man, I'm going to get up out of here, bro. It's mad early in the morning when I'm shooting this, but. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, man. Like I said, join the Patreon, man. We really in this one for real, though. All right, bro. I'm about it.